Uganda police has started hunting for the girls that appeared in a viral video assaulting another female over a man. Kampala Metropolitan Deputy Police Spokesperson Luko Isijire has confirmed that they are already in touch with the victim and the suspects have been identified pending arrest. Luke Oisijire says the incident happened in one of the rentals in Chira municipality. I must say the video has attracted massive attention from the netizens, you know, who kept on asking police to find the culprits and bring them to book. But a good enough look always Jire says they are following up on this matter and the suspects will soon be arrested. Now, the opposition has always complained about President Museveni militarizing every institution in Uganda and it seems his government is not about to stop doing so. Apparently, the Prime Minister, Right Honorable Robina Nabanja, has called for the intervention of UPDF soldiers in the inspection of schools. According to Nabanja, it has come to the notice of government that some inspectors are sleeping on the job and that the only way to solve that problem is replace them and welcome the soldiers who can ably do that into the system. However, many Ugandans on different social media platforms have not bought the idea. They are saying that everything in Uganda right now is about soldiers and this is killing the country. I don't know what you guys think about this suggestion brought about by the Prime Minister Right Honorable Robina Nambanja. Uh, the comment section is very open for you. Jeno Salim Saleh, you must come out publicly as soon as possible and tell us the type of support you gave to the Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago and also tell us more about your relationship with him when it started Basically, we need to have more details about what's such letting in the media. This time around, we are not going to stay calm whenever allegations against our leaders are saturated in the media. You must come out and tell us more about this matter, otherwise we are taking you to court. Well, those are some of the statements said recently by the deputy spokesperson of FDC, John Kikonyogo, while addressing the journalists at their head offices in Najanangumbi. Now, the Vice President of Uganda, Jessica Alupo, while speaking at the celebrations to mark the 35 years of Entebbe Church of Uganda on Sunday, assured Ugandans that come 2026, President Museveni will be on the ballot paper and requested Ugandans to support him when that time comes. Well, it seems the big names in Museveni's government have already endorsed him. However, we don't know if, you know, the son, General MK, will still go right ahead and contest in that election. But of course, all the details will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. Well, that's it for now on The Buzz UG. And uh, don't forget to contact Haji Luzi Omsomi Wedua. Call that number on your screen for more details and everything will be okay. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fula, and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.